Yo, what's up guys? What's happening? It is your boy. Welcome to another episode of Scary Fridays. This is episode 20. Damn, it's not much of a milestone, but it's 20. That's crazy. Hopefully we can uh, do more down the future. Am I even making sense? Whatever. Alright, well this is the lineup for today. But you guys will probably be watching this at night or whenever you decide to watch it. But here's the lineup. It is Thriller eh, thriller Teller, uh, King Frost Mare, and a new person, Dylan Clark. What video did I see from him? What video did I see from oh, I forgot. But I asked for his permission. And he gave me his permission. I forgot what was it through. I'll probably show it here. But I, I hit him up and uh, he said, go ahead. Anyways, I feel like I'm all over the place. Got some popcorn today. Some skinny pop. I watched Gator, so this is kind of, I don't know if it's gonna stick, but you know, I usually like to eat stuff when I'm watching YouTube. Hopefully I don't rip this. Oh, this doesn't open like other popcorn. Oh, shit. Anyways. First video. Okay, like I said, this video is from Thriller Teller and it is called KFC Night Shift. I was kind of craving KFC tonight or today or last night. But... I feel like I've reacted to all her videos, honestly. At least 90% of them. Hope I didn't go to get in trouble by her. But we'll see. I know there's some people that limit me on how many I can do. Because I remember one dude said oh, with just one. He said as long as it's just one. So I did it. And um, there's another person that said as long as you don't do every single video. Which makes sense. Other than that, nobody's giving me a limit. Anyways, y'all ready for this? <clears throat> Hopefully the green screen works good. And, uh... Well, I go. It was a night of revenge. Chris had been working in KFC for six months. Okay. And in those six months, he had happily done his fair share of night shifts. That's a dude. But this night, he wasn't pleased at all. Everyone else got to go to the staff party, but he drew the short straw, staying behind to clean the entire place. Bloody pigs didn't bother sorting their crap. Just dulled themselves up and bolted. Let me stop. Let me just open this popcorn because I don't feel like I don't want to make a lot of noise. Shit. Shit opened all wrong. This, it has no flavor, kind of. I can barely taste the butter. Well, okay, let's continue. Tanya, you'd think you'd want to stay behind and help. Since I covered you all those other times, being the lanky tool I am. Nah, that useless twit would just throw more crap on the floor just to watch me suffer. Why the hell am I not the manager? To be honest, just being manager isn't much of an upgrade pay-wise. But bloody hell, this place would really be in the dumps. I'm the reason for half the obesity in this town instead of Mickey D's. Who makes the best clucking fried adult chicks in all the land? Who prepares everything per instructions down to the teeniest, tiniest tea? Say moi. Huh? 
What was that sign? Why is he still? Things? Bro, if he got scared, if I would have heard something, I wouldn't. I was still. I wouldn't keep mopping. I would be like, "What the f was that?" I wouldn't be like, "What was that?" Hell no. And I forgot to put my shit on airplane mode. Ugh. Let me try and put it right now. Hopefully, it doesn't stop the video. I think it's good. Mm, I'll just get it done. A quicker run, quicker right. Cheap, crappy earphones strike again. Oh. Was that the flash? My dude. I mean, I know that's a, that's a way to pass the night shift. I work a couple night shifts myself. But once I've heard something that I know it wasn't me and I know I'm by myself. If I heard something, I wouldn't put my headphones on. I would be alert if I already haven't left. I literally got a notification, sir. I got a new subscriber called Cookie Something. I didn't get to see it. Thank you. I appreciate you, my guy. I think right now I'm at 99 with that subscriber right there. Damn. I remember I had 17. It took me a while, honestly. I mean, it takes everybody, you know, a certain amount of time. That's crazy. I was at 17, and like I mentioned, I watched Gator, and he was doing like these promotions where you promote, he's going to promote your channel, and I took advantage of that, and I think he got me up to like 30 something, about, if I'm not mistaken, and I think from there, I kind of got it on my own, I want to say, yeah, so like from like, I'm going to just say 40 and up. I kind of got my subscribers like that. That's cool. I'm sweating here, literally. Anyways, you know, it's not 100 yet, but thank all 99 of you. If you watch my videos or you don't, whatever. Just thank you. Back to the video. So where there was chickens on the loose? Chris's car slept here, so fired Chris slept here. You taking your sweet, precious time? Don't rush on account of me. Hmm. Spotless. You know, the place does look spotless. Mm hmm. Oh, good job leaving the fryer on. Where the hell are you? Oh, nah. The Flash. I don't get it, though. His finger lick. Isn't that a trademark? Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. We'll see you soon with another creepy story. I've watched, I've reacted to both of those videos, so y'all want to check them out. Next video. NEXT! Okay, like I said, this one is from King Frostmare and that is called the scariest video, ugh, the scariest videos that will steal your sleep. Now, like I mentioned in my in and out mukbang, I've already 
been losing sleep watching this 911 show. So, is it possible to steal more? We'll see. But, like I said, this one's from King Frostmare. And we about to check it out. Y'all ready? Let's go. Hello, guys. Now it is time for a new bunch of scary videos that we will check out together. And now, without further ado, let's buckle yeah. up and stay frosty. That's disturbing. This video was recorded by DK Karen, a young girl from Indonesia who loves traveling and exploring. Today she seemed to be traveling to an old house in the region, which is supposed to be haunted, and it acts as a form of museum of the occult. Okay. Apparently it was even used as a filming location for an Indonesian horror film in the past. Being interested in the mysterious side of things, Karen traveled to this house with two of her friends to record a little bit and to capture the spirit of this creepy location. Many people are sure that they captured something really scary this day. And while they were touring the upper floor, nobody else was in the house. They were absolutely certain about that. I would not go in there. I wouldn't even be in that house, honestly. You wouldn't catch me ghost hunting. However, when filming the location from the outside, there seemed to be somebody on the upper floor, although nobody should have been in the building. Mm, I think I've seen this one. I think. On the top left, over there, on the balcony. Yeah, I've seen that one. Damn, hell no. I, I wouldn't be able to notice it either if I was recording. I only spotted it because, like I said, I've seen this video already. The way she just backs up to, I think it's a girl. Yeah. Of course, we don't know if that's true, but what makes this whole incident even more creepy is the way this person up there is staring at our camera woman and then just floats back into the dark room. It is a pale figure, and I can't see it taking any steps. It's literally hovering back. The friends didn't notice anybody on the second floor at that time. It looks like it will always stay a mystery. In the living room. The following was captured by a man who found these recordings on his home surveillance camera, which he has placed in the living room. He had to do this since loud bangs were waking him up lately. They were always stemming from the living room area. However, never did he notice anything when checking. He uploaded this video to Reddit and stated, Can anyone confirm this is real? Captured this on blank camera. The hell is that? Um... Something weird is moving on the left side of the screen. The hell? Could it be the reason for his nightly disturbance? Some say it could just be a bug or maybe spider webs. Nah. Look like somebody's hand or arm. But the majority of people is actually not sure. What do you think? Or a dinosaur. And Titty in the Woods. The following video was sent by Antonio. It was apparently recorded by a young man who was jogging one day when he heard some really odd noises behind him. He also states that shortly after, some things seemed to be running after him, which scared him quite a bit. These parts of the local woods are apparently home to a local legend which speaks of an evil entity or spirit that for whatever reason can be seen here based on several reports. 
Th that's why I don't jog. So there, it was walking around in the woods. As he documents the situation further for safety, he notices a weird mannequin in the distance. I can't see it. That's creepy. That's weird. Did he flip? Did he turn around? Bro, if I would have seen him move, I would have been gone. As he takes a better look at that mannequin, a dark apparition pops up right behind it. And it scares him so much that he makes it out of these woods as fast as he can. Sorry I don't jump on instinct. But believe it or not, that was scary as shit. Like literally my whole body, I just, I don't know if it was chills or just, I don't even know how to explain it. Just literally, I have chills right, I don't, I don't think you'd be able to tell with my cheap ass phone quality camera. Yeah, you probably can't tell. Damn. That one got me. Like I said, I didn't jump or like, oh. I, 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 I can't even talk. <laughs> I was probably that scared that I couldn't even make a noise. Like literally my, my, if like starting from my chest, my arms and my head, like literally that got me. I was expecting the, the little mannequin thing to move, but I'll give you that one. That one. Okay. He states that he has no idea what exactly transpired that day, but that he had nightmares for a long time. After what? This. I will too. Understandable. It looks like a crow. Well, ah, that one was scary. Family lunch. The following clip was forwarded by Mordem X, and he tells me that it was recorded during a family. Oh, I thought that was a mannequin too. South America. The aunt of the two little boys was recording them at the time as they were playing around with a tricycle. Nothing weird happened that day. Nothing that was really noticed, at least. However, when the woman was checking the video later with her husband. They found something really strange popping up in the mirror. Which mirror? That the only mirror? Wait, how many mirrors they got? Is it just the circle and the round one that's up? How are y'all gonna know, huh? Like if y'all live there. Oh yeah, that one. Is that that's not the aunt? Ooh, okay. The woman stated that nobody was standing behind her and that everybody else was sitting at the table at the time. So how do we explain this head popping up? Was yeah. it something paranormal? Maybe a deceased family member? Could be, honestly. Because you can't even see a face or anything. In the field. This video was captured by two friends who were on their way to another friend who based on their statements was living in a rural area outside of town. After hearing some unexplained screams in the distance, one of them pulled out his phone to record what was going on. And indeed, he seemed to have captured a really odd creature in the distance. Oh, hell yeah. Hell no. Wait, wait a second, I think I see it. I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Yeah, I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? What is that? Dude, that's... 
That shit stood up straight too and then started crawling. Look at that. Ooh. Some people speculate that this is another sighting of the ray creature, which is said to be home to these areas. Could that be so? It's really hard to say what exactly was captured that day. Or should I say night? Yeah. If it wasn't just a setup by a friend or so, maybe we are looking at something mysterious here. Unless it's really good CGI, I don't see how you can fake that. Then again, you see how movies are made. Then I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I don't even know what to trust nowadays. But if it looks legit to me, to me, I'll let you know. But then again, now that just be my opinion. Danny Donahue, who has captured several really terrifying sightings in his apartment, brings us another really thrilling encounter, which was taking place during the day this time. He mostly has shared this happenings during night times. Let me open this pop one more. Okay. This one came as a surprise to everybody involved. As per usual, Danny can notice some inexplicable moaning noises from his bathroom. And the bathroom was home to many scary moments in the past. The ghost putting in work. I heard that. Shadow being was seen in his apartment many times before. Some believe what it to be the spirit of a woman that is haunting this place for no particular reason. Uh, uh, Strange, how? Isn't it? how? She would have catch these hands, bro. Whatever we are looking at here, it's definitely nightmarish. What the f oh hell no. <clears throat> it gave me chills. Whew. Following is an update of the bone chilling dogman encounter that has surfaced last week. The same man kept finding this creature in the woods right in front of his house, and yet again he could pull out his phone and record this weird creature. Which, as stated before, seems to be some form of dog creature. Did he drop his camera or what? Ugh. The hell? What a coincidence. Isn't this simply terrifying? Okay, this is this is what I don't get. What a coincidence the thing went up to I don't know if he's standing there recording them or he just like dropped his camera left up there recording. Cause it's not moving. At least I don't think it is. How was the thing kinda coincidentally just stand right in front of you, look around and dip? Come on, really? Is it moving? The camera's not moving, is it? That's probably just his dog. He probably threw a mask on him. Are those eyes? What is that? We will keep an eye open for even more of these encounters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, two of these got me pretty good. Wait, is it two? Yeah. Two. Okay. 
I see you King Frostmare. Next video. Next! Okay, like I mentioned before, we got a newcomer. I don't think that's a pause moment. But, newcomer called Dylan Clark. And it is called Behind the Frame. According to the thumbnail, it's good. I seen, uh, which one did I, I, what was the first video I saw from him? God. I forgot but I thought it was pretty good that's why I asked him to give me permission and he did so shout out to you my guy you already know I don't like to talk during these so I'm gonna try and stay quiet unless I get scared Y'all ready for this one? Let me get all the, the bitchness out of me right now. Get the popcorn wide open. Lick the wrapper like the homie Gator. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Y'all ready? Let go.
I'm sorry, let me pause it right there. I think I just realized what's going on. So every time she lifts up a photo of like what she's really facing and puts it down, it appears, right? Like she just did with the machete or whatever that is and the feet. I just got on, I just caught on to it, my bad. I was gonna say, I feel like the feet are gonna get dragged away. It's really suspenseful, eh, suspenseful. Okay. Oh, not. I might check that one out next. On my next scary Friday. Why would you do that? Yo, I really thought that face, that face that was in the frame, like in the back. I thought that was about to pop out, or the one in the closet. Then I seen the the thing behind her. Hell no. I was getting ready to pray. For her. Hmm. That one was pretty suspense suspenseful. I think it's been like now it's been like two short horror films that were good. So hopefully I keep it I keep it rolling. Well, choosing the right ones at least. Now 
I think this whole episode was good. Like even the KFC one was good. Then again, that thriller teller, all her well, it was a guy that's I don't know, whatever. That channel always has good videos, so I was expecting nothing less. Honestly, this was a good episode. I'll probably give it like a good nine. Maybe a nine and a half. It was it was that good for me at least. Yeah, we're good. A lot of suspenseful moments. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, man. Cause like I said, I'm sorry I'm not the oh shit type of reactor. I don't know, I just when I get scared I just I'm just me. Some some have gotten me though. I don't know, it's just how I, I don't know, just in the moment. It's probably because it's daytime, maybe. It was good, though. As always, if you guys want to check these out, all three of these videos will be linked down below. As always. But let me know if you want to keep, you if you want to. If you wanna want me to keep reacting to this guy, to his videos, obviously he be putting in work. But like I said, Scary Fridays episode twenty. I would say a su a success. I liked it. Um. Hopefully, I keep putting out more. You know, if you, for those who don't know, I'm gonna keep mentioning this. I'm going to have a daughter soon, so the videos are going to slow down. But every chance I get, best believe I'm going to upload when I can. I'm not just going to fall off the face of the earth, you know? I'm going to try my best. <sighs> like I said, for like the fifth time I like this episode, let me know what you guys thought of it. I don't have much to say now. I pretty much got it out of the way. But yeah, man. Dylan Clark, everybody on this episode. Keep it up, man, y'all. Y'all did good on this one. Anyways. I'm going to get out of here. I think I'm going to go play with my niece. She wants to go play. It's practice for me, right? Anyways. Like I said. Feel free to go check these guys out. If you like the videos, I know I did. But um, yeah, links will be down below. And uh, yeah, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I already took 40 minutes of your time. So um, yeah, if you guys like this uh, video, this episode, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys on the next one. Whether it's a reaction, mukbangs, since I just, since I just started doing them. Reaction mukbang or scary Friday, which scary Fridays are reactions to, but whatever, you get the point. Yeah, see you guys on the next one. Later. This freaking chair, man. Later.